So how do you make Cardano the chain to use? How do you bring more people into the ecosystem to, to live here, thrive here, build with the network? Well, there was actually a Solana beating feature that may be something that frankly brings more people into the space. I'm Luxide. Welcome to the channel. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell. It's free to do. It will keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. And one thing that has been discussed is, is throughput, is transaction speed, transactions per second. And frankly, most people don't have an understanding of this when it comes to Cardano. And I'll get to this in just a moment. But there was actually a, a poll that was put out by Richard McCracken just the other day. And he said, imagine you're a Cardano D rep and the monthly budget is 20 million ADA and two proposals are open. Build a Rust node requirement for 11 million ADA or implement a Laos requirement for 12 million, million ADA. And Charles Hoskinson suggested that the Rust node gives us no new differentiating features for users. Laos makes us faster than Solana without losing decentralization. So here's the thing. The the Cardano UTXO model is fast. It's efficient. We don't we don't have a speed problem with Cardano, to be fair. Most people don't understand how the UTXO model works. They don't understand that this is not a TPS model. We can have transactions inside of transactions. And that's where this thing gets a bit complicated. And, you know, I think that because of those optics, some people choose not to participate in the Cardano ecosystem. They choose not to build in the Cardano ecosystem because, frankly, they don't understand it. So what Ouroboros Laos is supposed to do is actually supposed to implement tiered transactions, and it's also have faster chain synchronization. So this could actually push the Cardano network to actually become faster than Solana. Solana is something that's really been touted for its, its speed and cheap transactions. Obviously, there are some glaring issues, which kind of leaves the door wide open, frankly. If you guys haven't noticed, no chain has really secured the, the front runner spot when it comes to transactions, when it comes to new coins and buildings, right? Everybody thought it was Ethereum, but then Ethereum had uh, uh, gas fee problems. Then everybody thought it was Solana. Solana has uh, downtime and, and completion of transactions problems, right? Layer twos have been doing well now. I mean, there's their Tron has been seeing some upticks in activity, but now a downswing in activity. So the door is frankly wide open. And something like this, frankly, could bring in new users. Do I think that this is something that absolutely will do that? Do I think that this is the aha moment? No, not necessarily. But if you guys haven't noticed, making the Cardano blockchain more efficient, making it faster, make it, making it more scalable, uh, or not it's more scalable, uh, more interoperable, things like that, those do help with optics. They do help. Uh, for the future in, in times where blockchain adoption is higher, like we should see, frankly, later this year, as we get into next year as well, those should be some of the biggest times in DeFi adoption. And so the Cardano blockchain is basically getting set for this. Now, a couple things that I think could bring in new users, advertising. Advertising is something that has never been done with the Cardano blockchain. Obviously, now that we're getting into uh, the era of Chang, the, the Voltaire era. Um, that's something that as a community, we can decide to do, you know, the, the uh, access to a stable coin, things like that, you know, additional pass for liquidity, more promotion in terms of uh, Cardano native assets, getting those listed on exchanges. I mean, there's a countless amount of things that we can do to start outpacing a lot of these other chains. Because remember, some of these existing problems that other chains have, we don't have here on Cardano. The biggest thing we've lacked is adoption. That's been the, the number one thing that people can reference as uh, an issue, but it's a fixable issue. It's an easy to fix issue. It's a lot harder to fix uh, the amount of users than the, than the quality of the tech. I want people to really think about that, right? So while this is a good step, I don't think this is necessarily the step that, that brings the wave of people, but I think it's enough to get a little buzz. When you can get that discussion, then... All things are possible. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Leave comments in the description down below, or description in the comments section down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think that this is a big deal to get this Ouroboros Laos implemented here? But I appreciate you guys as always. If you guys haven't already, do check out that Marjax referral link in the description below. Again, there's no KYC. You can earn up to $10,000 in deposit and trading bonuses. And the Caspa airdrop is almost over. So have a great day. Show your love below. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.